Well guys, how are you doing? I hope you all be fine. So I've been receiving requests from my audience uh, to make a free energy generator. Although I don't want it. Badly because I need some views. <laughs> first of all what a free energy device is a free energy device is something that produces energy out of nowhere sounds pretty amazing right yes because everyone is fed up of popped up bills and a thousand hours of load shedding every day a thousand hours yeah maybe two three hours a day so let's see how to make it so here's the circuit which i designed for my free energy device so First thing first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. <coughs> Sorry for that. So here we've got a supply unit, a switch unit, a motor, a generator, a gearbox system, and a load. So basically what we'll do here is that initially we'll connect the motor to the supply directly. And once the motor reaches its rated speed, we'll connect the motor to the generator, disconnecting it with the supply. So now the motor will get its power from the generator and once they both couple successfully to each other we can turn on the load and then it can run forever. So now we got the idea let's make it. So to make this device we would need a motor, a generator, a power supply, a bulb as a load and some switches which I don't have and some gears. So I have glued the motor and generator to the base so I have attached a 16 teeth gear with the generator and a 42 gear with the motor so that the generator rotates 2.625 times faster than the motor so now let's power the circuit so you see my generator is running and i can even power my load nah it doesn't work i was powering this bulb separately and the motor separately and even when i disconnect the battery the generator isn't even able to power the motor see it turns off instantly but why? To know why it's not working, let's have a closer look on their voltages. This is a supply voltage. And this is the voltage of generator under no load condition. So now you note that the generator isn't even able to run its motor. So how it can power our bulb? Let's have a closer look at the losses. So here you can see the model of the losses of our circuit. So the losses start with the motor internal losses. For example, it's copper losses. Let's just consider it's copper losses. And then there are the frictional losses due to the gear system. And the generator also carries some losses because of the back EMF. And even after that, we are supplying something to the motor. What are we supplying? <laughs> I guess some additional losses. So this design could only work with no load. Only if we remove the internal losses of the motor and the generator and somehow reduce the friction to zero. So to reduce the internal losses of the motor and generator, I recommend you to make its winding out of superconductor material, which is not possible. And to reduce the frictional losses, use Shersomo tail. Assume if you overcome all the losses, even then you will not be able to power any load with it. Because according to the law of conservation of energy, free energy doesn't exist. Because there has to be one form of energy to convert it to the other form. Otherwise, this would be against the law. So now you know why we cannot make free energy. I could have easily fooled you because I have knowledge about electrical stuff. But then it's against my nature to fake things. And uh, I want people to get educated and uh, be aware of the scammers. And by now, I think I am eligible for a subscribe please please if you have any questions please comment them down and i'll see you in the next video bye we are we are we are we are we are the engineers hey! we can we can we can we can demolish 40 beers oh. drink up drink up drink up drink up and come along with us because we don't give a damn for any old man who don't give a damn about us